Hello, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be talking about real gases. And in a previous video, we were working with the ideal gas equation. And we can solve the ideal gas equation so that PV over RT equals one. In this case, B is the molar volume, the volume per unit mole, and R is the universal gas constant. A more real gas would be uh, the compressivity compressibility factor equation where uh, we have PV over RT and we have Z. Z is the compressibility factor. We're going to learn how to determine this one. And if Z equals one, then it is an ideal gas, right? And before I start, let's state what is the critical point. So you have this diagram, which is a pressure volume diagram. This is pressure, this is volume. And the substances behave such that we have the liquid region here. Here is the saturated liquid line when it's starting, it's starting to, to boil. And when it starts to boil, uh, you need more uh, heat and in order to turn from liquid to vapor. So this is the saturated liquid vapor region, and this is the saturated vapor line. We're going to talk about this in a, in a later video. But the important thing here is the critical point. And the critical point is the point of volume and pressure where liquid and gas coexist in, in this uh, point, okay? And this is relevant because in our table, we can have values of the critical temperature in Kelvin of the critical pressure uh, in atmosphere. And we're going to be using those in order to determine the compressibility factor, Z. Uh, and just uh, imagine that all the gases are going to be behaving differently at certain temperature and pressure, right? Uh, it's not the same to have, let's say, air or nitrogen than to have water at, uh, at normal temperature. You know that air is going to be a gas, but water is probably be, uh, a liquid. But if you normalize or if you divide the pressure and temperature over, it's over the critical pressure and the critical temperature, you are going to have what we call the reduced uh, pressure and the reduced temperature. And then all the gases are going to start to behave uh, similarly. And that is what we call the law of corresponding states. So this is a chart of the reduced temperature of the reduced pressure, and you have uh, different uh, substances and you can see that there is a, a, a behavior, right? So with this, you can obtain what is uh, here, the, the Z, which is the compressibility factor. Uh, just obtain a value of the reduced pressure, a value of the reduced temperature, if you say, like, let's say you get a, a reduced uh, pressure of two, then you're going to mark a line here. And if you get a, a let's say, temperature which is reduced of 1.20, right? Then uh, you, you, you are going to go to see that we have like 0.6 of the compressibility factor, 0.59, something like that. Sometimes pressure is given and temperature is given, but sometimes what you have is actually the volume. So in those cases where the volume is the one that you have, you can calculate this, the pseudo reduced volume, which is uh, the volume or the molar volume over R temperature critical over pressure, critical pressure, or in other words, you can multiply the molar volume times the critical pressure over RT, okay? Now these factors, what we call here the pressure, the reduced pressure, the reduced temperature, and the pseudo reduced volume or molar volume, they are adimensional, they don't have units. Uh, so you have to input R in such terms that these will go adimensional, right? And it's exactly the same, you get one parameter and then you just look for the value of a, the pseudo reduced volume, which is these kind of lines. These lines that are solid and state for the tem reduced temperature, but these ones that are dashed, they are going to be the pseudo reduced ideal volume. 
And if you have a mixture, let's say air is nitrogen and oxygen and carbon dioxide, and you need to obtain the critical pressure and critical temperature, well, uh, what you're going to obtain here is the pseudo critical uh, pressure of the mixture just by adding up uh, the critical pressure times the uh, molar composition of each species. In this case, the, temper the pseudo uh, critical temperature is exactly the same so that you can have the uh, reduced uh, pressure, pseudo reduced pressure of the uh, mixture and the pseudo reduced temperature of the mixture. And then you can go to this chart which is the compressibility factor chart and look for the Z for the mixture. So this is uh, working with real gases with the compressibility factor.